tuning Nick Sonic called The Flag. The greatest banner to ever flutter. Softly in the gentle afternoon breeze. In the wind I can hear a loud sputter. It flies outside in a winter's deep freeze. It sits at half-mast on the darkest days. And when we first heard of the school shooting. It flew when the Pentagon was ablaze. When the buildings fell while commuting. It is the symbol of sacrifices. And victorious wars and tragedies. It remains flying during a crisis. When some see it, they are brought to their knees. It is much more than three colors, colors flying. It soars when America is crying. Sit. <laughs> we will be performing a sign by me. What if, what if life was nothing but a nightmare? The darkness engulfed the only light that peace reigned in terror, darkness, and despair. The voices were hushed and nobody led. All the chaos, there's no keeping track of how to keep calm and live your life free. The sun used to rise, but clouds fill the sky. Horizons, horizon is now never to be seen. The trees stand weak, leaving the birds to flee. The roses once red now turn to night black. Life will go on like when winters begin. Life is worthless when dreams cannot come true. This is all nothing but a big nightmare. We are performing a sonnet by me, Matteo de Marco. To forget true love is to lose your heart. Precious then, but in a blink it is gone. A youthful mistake plays a painful part. A lonely life forever remains. A crushing blow dealt by the one you love creates an eternal wound always open. When love is stolen and you lose your dog, lives regret that goes forever unspoken. Rage takes hold and creates blinding fire. The more it's fed, the longer it burns, stoked by memories of a liar. And quickly the temperature rises, until the day the fuel is silent, burned out by one's fiery violence. All right. This is a poem by me, Annie. My sister Ivy drives me really crazy. The main go her main goal in life is to annoy me. Tells me what to do because she's lazy. She is like a queen and gives me the creeps. When I say something, she repeats it back. We always get into fierce arguments. Well, we're in a fight, she gives me a whack. My mom separates us like an armistice, but through the wild stuff we fight about. I still love her no matter what she does. Even as we argue and give out shouts, and through the pain of the pushes and shoves. We always make up and get together. It is best to be with her whenever. All right, guys, thank you. We are about to perform a sonnet by Nina Martell. I see the puck gliding on the slick ice. My heart is pumping fast, then the gloves drop. I chase after her as the ice gets sliced. The whistle blows loud and the ref yells stop. I pick up speed and get close to the net. Off my stick flies the puck down right wing, fight in the corner, the puck I will get shot, and I score, then the buzzer will sing, the crowd noise is loud as we celebrate. Everything freezes as slow the puck drops, I win the face off, of course that felt great, a loose stick on the ice, over she hops, as the clock winds down, the game takes its toll, a one-timer shot for the winning goal. This is my sonnet called Summer. During the long lasting months of summer, the days drag on like they will never end. Sometimes the sun's heat can be a bummer, never serious in the time we spend. It is as if there is too much free time, the insects and bugs and bees in my ears. Being out so much you spend every dime, why does summer only come once a year? Yet the summer comes with gorgeous flowers, hanging out with friends from day until night, playing outside for hours and hours. Summer is just such a beautiful sight. The summer is dry and hot and sweaty, it is looked forward to by so many. Their intentions were to run in the race. Had they been aware, they would have stayed home. This tragic event was such a disgrace. Why couldn't that person leave them alone? Who knew that, who knew that actions could cause so much pain? What kind of monster would do such a deed? Now there's one less little boy that remains, but one more family with one in need. Our hearts have reached out to those who have lost as heaven awaits the three on their way. What an unfortunate path that they have crossed for all the families watch them lay. They are just resting up in the blue sky, for all those three angels will never die. It's not difficult to write a sonnet. The rules are the things I cannot get by. Fourteen lines, ten syllables, one couplet. The rhyming quatrains in the plot must tie. I took out today a paper and pen in hopes of inspiration for this cause. 
staring blankly at white for long hours. For words for the sonnet, I was at loss. I tried a love poem, wrote one filled with cheese, made a cute one, put the children to shame. At least I knew that the birds and the bees were not what to write of, instead this came. A journey through po poet's block you were sent, and now my sonnet has come to an end. I swear to thee by my father's bad shame, for thy beauty I hope will never end. By all the promises I've kept for fame, tis bad of how many letters I've sent. By all the luminous stars in the sky, by the gleeful sun's hypnotizing ray, I shall promise to thee I shall not lie. I may say to thee as I pray and pray. The glistening sparks in the water's place, thy heart of gold I shall not betray ye. Thou doth run from me, but thy know all chase. The feeling of purity lay upon me. Would thou be of trust to me with thy hand? Cupid's arrow has been shot and has landed. Are we are performing a sonnet written by Jack. Sweat. Blood. Pain. Hard work. Determination. Long days. Hot sun. Out of breath. No time off. Never give up. Focus. Dedication. Coach is yelling, starting to make you cough. <coughs> <coughs> the weight room and the trek becoming your home. It hurts, but you know you must keep going. To try playing the Super Bowl dome. And never let your weakness show. Because in the end, it'll be worth it. <laughs> All the sweat, blood, tears, pain, hard work, the many hours full of grime and grit. No more working as a grocery clerk. Finally made it to the big game. <laughs> you finally made it to the big game. And now everyone will know your name. Now. Cut, cut. No. <laughs> Because you are much better, love, let us be wrapped in each other. Arms, my sweetheart, you may think, my cra think I'm crazy, but I beg you. So love me once more, how did we drift apart? I met someone else quite amazing as you. He has the much, most go gorgeous eyes he has. The most amazing laugh I've ever heard is his. His hands have the most amazing touch to, to them. As I used to think of yours, his lips are. The perfect size for mine, my sweet baby boy. My heart sings gladness. You give my life joy. Our group is about to perform a sonnet by Isabella. In the kitchen is where I spend my time, listening to the clang of pots and pans. Cooking and preparing foods is sublime. But first, yummy recipes must be planned. You assemble the ingredients first, cutting and chopping and measuring them, and mixing the flavors until they burst. You can prepare the foods with your best friend. Smoothies in the summertime can cool you down. You start by slicing the strawberries thin. Add yogurt and milk to blend them around. A little ice to go with a spin. Finish by pouring it in a chilled glass. Invite your neighborhood friends for a glass. We are doing a sonnet by myself, Matthew Eidler. As I walk out to the floor, I'm ready. I salute the judge to begin to meet. As I begin my run, I remain steady. I do my Arabian on my feet. Now comes the front hand spring back, flip, and stick. The end of the routine is almost here. Now comes the layout and my greatest trick. In midair, I am ready for the floor. Cheers. It is now time and the awards have come. Floor will come first in placement, I 
hope. They begin in some place, and it is done. As they reach closer to first, I start to mope. Soon I begin to wonder if I'd win. First place comes, and they call my name, and I dream. The country burns bright with optimism after the armies of shiny red leave the new land with patriotism and hope. But that was crushed with the dead in a war against brothers until a white peace. When the world broke, we sailed across the blue ocean to help our friends. Then once again to fight the same evil and to finally get the true heroes to lead. Our friends left us once again to find a new friend to hurt and bully us. Then, they, then we knew our old friend had to end. <clears throat> then a monster threatened our glory and freedom. But that was the beginning of our great struggle. They burned the mountains of man. Done. The title of my sonnet is A Great Decision. They have made me make a decision now. You crazy man, you, you tried to persuade me. I wish for the death of this life to show. My country is to fail if I don't agree. They have trapped me, how I will respect, how will respect come to I? If you kill my family, no man am I. You harass the great city till, I, till it cry. My life, ha, uh, ha, choice, my, my life, my choice, so I will flip a dime. My choice has brought death and despair with it. My de decision has killed my family. This world, this world like a puzzle, all pieces have to fit. Now my city does not fit in the puzzle, empty. Look down upon my burning house and the minds of many others. In death I now know he saw between my lies.